Welcome everyone to another Yoga with Zach practice. And no, you don't need to adjust your settings on your phone or your computer, the color. This is a black lit room. I'm coming to you practicing from the spin studio that I also teach from today. And one reason I'm coming here today is for something a little different and also because of the words that are written on the wall back behind me. So if you read those words, it says inspire, strength, joy, hope, faith, and love. So I'm hoping that you can be inspired today through what you do on your mat, coming to your mat, finding your physicality, your mindfulness, uh, coming to your heart, tapping into your emotions, and then also your soul, your spiritual side as well. So today I hope we are going to inspire that strength, joy, hope, faith, and love. But most of all, my hope, my prayer is that after this practice and going forward, you can truly believe that you have all of those things inside of you. And once you fill your cup, those things will overflow to all those around you. So welcome to the practice. We're going to get started. So I invite you to lay down on your back, on your mat. If you forget what we're working on today, those things clearly listed on that wall in our space. So you're on your back, eyes are closed, breath is deep. Feeling the rise and fall of the belly with the breath. Maybe put one hand on top of the other in the lower belly. Begin to feel that rise and fall of the breath. Just settle into your space. Option is always there to put on some music in the background if you'd like. Just remembering this is your time. There's no certain way you need to feel, you need to move. You be you today. Whatever's happened in the past it doesn't have any bearing on this moment. This is a new, fresh moment going forward. Take just a few rounds of quiet breath and prepare yourself, heart, mind, body, and soul for your practice today. Next inhale, still on our backs, pulling the knees into the chest, big squeeze. Find a little rock, side to side, forward and back, a few circles in one direction, a few circles in the other. Find a bunch of different flows today. So for many of those, that will kind of guide you through the first few rounds, and then you can move on your own. So again, this practice is about you, about what you need. Hoping as we continue this practice, I've got a, it's this black lit room, I've got a black floor, a black yoga mat. I hope I can stay on my yoga mat today. And then back to center. Soles of feet drop to the mat. Feet outer edges. Knees facing the sky. Arms come out wide to side of T. And then drop your legs off to the right. Take two rounds of breath here, breathing in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Breathing in, and out. Inhale back through center. Exhale, drop left. Head can turn to the right, two rounds of breath. Inhale, and exhale. Breathing in, and out. Now finding that flow, inhale through center, knees and chin meet in center, exhale, knees, legs drop right, head drops left, inhale back through center, exhale, knees, legs drop left, head drops right, and continue on your own for a few rounds, following your breath. Maybe if you've got a black light in your space you can throw on or maybe an old school lava lamp from college. Really set the mood for this practice. If I was back in my college dorm, I'd have a Bob Marley poster on the wall and also a Kramer poster from Seinfeld. 
couple more times each side. And then back through center. Once we're here, we're going to walk the heels in a little bit. So we now have the knees, ankles, hips all lined up. Palms flat to the mat. And we reach back down towards our heels. Inhale, hips lift up, bridge pose. We're going to hold right here. Option to interlace our fingers underneath us and walk, roll our shoulders under. And then firmly press the arms back to the hands into the mat. And lift the hips higher, engaging the inner thighs, keeping the knees stacked above the ankles. Relax through the face, squeeze through the glutes. Begin to turn on, electrify the core for our practice today. Three more rounds of breath. Bridge hold. Inhale. And exhale. Full breath in. And full breath out. One more time. Inhale. And then release the hands, palms back flat. Exhale, slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time until finally the hips, sacrum touch the mat. Next up, bridge flow. Inhale, hips lift up. Pause at the top of the bridge and the inhale. And then exhale on your own, slowly lower back down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lower down. Continue a few more times on your own. One breath, one movement. Your breath the guide in that moving, flowing process. We can add on a little bit to this flow if we'd like. As the hips lift up, we can lift our hands up. Fingers reach to the sky. They can stay there, or maybe the backs of the hands come all the way back to the earth behind us, pointing to the fingertips. If that doesn't work for your shoulders, no worries. If we're using the arms, we lower the hips back down. Arms will come back over, knee, over the top, and then palms will root to the earth at the same time as the hips. Just an option, or else we can just stay with the hips lifting and lowering. Bridge flow, moving with the breath. One more time. Pull the knees into the chest, big squeeze. We're going to gain some momentum, rocking forward and back. We're going to rock ourselves up to boat pose. So if we come all the way down, our heels touch, we didn't quite stick that landing, that sweet spot of boat, we can always come through again. Maybe we just find out, hey, it's fun to rock back and forth. Reaching forward through the fingers, so our heels can be on the ground for support. Legs can be lifted, hands can be back behind the legs and the hamstrings. Fingers can reach forward to the side, lots of options. So I turn myself towards you guys, we're gonna find some flow here in a moment in this boat position. Continue to activate that core. We started a little bit more of the back side of the core through the low spine on that bridge. Lift, hold, and flow. We're going to focus a little bit more front side, but also making sure we still keep the lower back strong. Bring your palms to heart center. Inhale, rise up, press palms to the sky. Exhale, drop the arms open. Inhale, lift up, palms touch. Exhale, hands lower. Inhale, press up, exhale. Chest expansion, maybe a slight gaze up. Inhale, lift up, and then just continue a few times on your own. Focus your attention on the abdominal muscles to take the pressure, the stress, off of the hip flexors. Another great thing you can do if you have a block or a book at home, you can squeeze that between your legs and that will also take that pressure off of the hip flexors. One more time through. And 
palms come to touch, hands heart center, and then we're going to cross our legs, and then bring our hands forward, legs back behind us, all fours, hands and knees. Palms spread wide in the mat, each fingertip gripping into the mat. Find a little bit of a drop of the hip, side to side. A few circles in one direction. And a few circles in the opposite direction. Coming back to center. Deep inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, catch, and drops down towards the chest. Head falls, hanging heavy. Middle vertebrae pulls up to the sky. Hold here, two rounds of breath. Next inhale, open the chest up towards the floor. Then cow pose. Two deep rounds of breath here, breathing in. Take a third inhale. And then exhale, transitioning to cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Move on your own. Flow with that breath. Take a few cat cow postures and flows. We can always come back to neutral spine and wag the tail a little bit. Feel the movement through the shoulders. Just a few rounds of breath to find out what feels good to you in this moment for this day. As we fill our cup with all those beautiful words on the wall back behind me. One more time, cat and cow, or wagging the tail. And then back to a neutral spine. Step the feet back, plank. Soft gaze looking down in between the hands. Core strong and engaged. And then hip slip back and up, down dog. Begin to pedal the heels, walking that out left and right. Spread the palms a little wider, feel each fingertip grip into the mat. And then stillness. A moment of quiet, inner down dog, head hanging heavy, head below the heart. Inversion, blood rushing to the head, healing, comforting, nourishing the mind. Relax your shoulders a little bit more and turn the soft part of your elbows forward slightly. Head is loose. And then we're going to float forward to plank. Our next flow, half series flow. So we can drop to the knees if we need to, if we need a little bit more support. So just an example, if we're lifted off of the knees, we're lowering down chaturanga and we're coming down, our hips are all bottoming out. It's better to stay on the knees, lower down, and keep that core strong all the way down and through. So we meet down on the earth, we can inhale, cobra, belly button on the mat, or upward facing dog, with the arms long and the shoulders peeling back from the ears. So hold in either one of those, cobra, or up dog. And toes flip, hips lift, back and up, down dog. So we're going to side as we move forward again, if we're going to take that knees on the earth position on our mat, or knees lifted as we lower down, there's especially no competition because no one can see you. You need to do what's best for you. Grow stronger, lowering down on your knees, and then eventually you get to that point where you control the descent off of the knees. So together, we go forward to plank, either knees are lifted, lower down, chaturanga, Cobra through up dog, toes flip, hips lift back and up, down dog. Again together, plank, lower down, sweep the chest, heart forward and through, flip the toes, down dog, and then continue a few more times on your own. Once again, a practice of flow, filling up your cup, and then checking in as we do this flow. When we come back to down dog, are we always flipping the same foot first? So the right toes and the left, that's kind of what I tend to go to. So 
I'm going to flip my left and then my right. Feels a little awkward, a little unnatural. <clears throat> it's going to challenge the mind a little bit. Take it outside of its comfort zone of what it's used to. One more time through. The body, hopefully warming up nicely by this time from our movements. Drop to the knees. Hips fall back, child's pose. Forehead comes to the mat, body relaxes. Deep breath in, <clears throat> and deep breath out. One more round of breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift back up, all fours, hands and knees. Step back to plank, hips lift back and up, down dog. And then walk the feet forward to the top of the mat, forward fold. Body hangs heavy, walk out the hips and knees left and right. Roll the wrists in one direction and the other. Breathing in and breathing out. Next flow, hands to shins. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, lower, reverse swan dive. Sweep out, lift up, big reach. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, lift, swan dive, forward fold. Hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, lower, reverse swan dive. Last time together. Head falls back, backward bending, lift up, come forward, then take a few rounds on your own. Pause anywhere along this route if we'd like. If that fold feels good to you, stay there. If you'd like a few more moments in the back bend. Take a few more rounds of breath right there. They sink back, squeezing the glutes. It's up to you though. Two more rounds. And then the next time you lift up, palms will come together, hands will lower heart center, and then arms drop at our side, eyes closed, mountain pose. Fingers are loose, core turned on, engaged, feeling the rooting the energy through the mat, from the earth, the feet, legs, knees, hips, core, the back of the spine, all the way up and out through the crown of the head. <clears throat> Resetting here before our next movement. Letting the first part of our practice go so we can focus in on the second. Round of deep cleansing breath together. Inhale, arms sweep out wide, lifting up tall, palms touch, hands lower, heart center. Inhale, sweep out, lift up, big reach. Exhale, chair pose. Hips back, weight in the heels, biceps, triceps, strong reaching forward. Making sure that your chest isn't just facing down to the ground. You can find a little mini back bend and shoot that heart forward. Just some things to check in, and then making sure your toes still facing forward. Sink down a little lower. And then inhale, lift up. Exhale, swan dive. Hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, lower down, reverse swan dive. 
Exhale back to that chair. Palms touch in the chair. We're gonna twist, left elbow outside the right leg and knee. Right elbow to the sky. Keep dropping the hips. Make sure the right knee stays in line with the left. It might wanna fall back a little bit. Square your hips forward. Back through center. And then twist the opposite way. Right elbow on the left, outside of the left leg and knee. Back to center, reach the arms forward. Inhale, lift up. Swan dive, forward fold. Half lift, and lower down, reverse swan dive. Sweep off, lift up, big reach. Exhale, back to chair. Palms touch, we even things out by twisting the opposite way first. Right elbow outside of the left leg and knee. Left elbow to the sky. Two knees in one line. Back to center. Twist the opposite way. Out of the twist to center. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. And then take a ragdoll, grabbing the opposite elbow with each hand. This is we found that awkward step back, other toes that we normally step with for our down dog. Put the opposite forearm in front, of what you typically grab if you weren't thinking about it. Awkward grip, challenging the mind and the body. Two rounds of deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in and out. Release that grip. Let the body fingertips hang heavy. And then hands come down. Big step back with the right foot. Low runner's lunge. Drop the right foot and heel outer edge to the mat. Inhale, warrior two. Sink and drop the hips. Left fingertips forward, right behind. Left knee out over the ankle, and right hip stays back. Soft gaze looking past the left fingertips. Sink a little lower. Deep inhale, exhale, side angle. So we can find supported left forearm and left leg. You can extend the arm long, looking for a nice long diagonal line, or the fingertips can brush the earth. Just this moment, just this breath. Most importantly, we stay present in the moment and we always breathe. Inhale, lift up, exhale, reverse warrior. Keep the drop of the hips, bicep a little closer to the face. My space here warming up nicely, hopefully yours is as well. Not practicing outside, as this is being filmed, it's currently zero degrees in my world. In our space, on our mats, our hearts, it's warm. Finding flow, inhale, warrior two, exhale. Supported side angle or full side angle with reach. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. And then just a few times on your own, flowing freely with the breath. Don't rush the movement. Get that full breath work in. Come back to reverse warrior together. And then we inhale warrior two, we windmill the hands down, framing the foot, pivot right toes, right foot steps forward, body hangs heavy forward fold. 
Take another rag doll. This time grab your natural grip. Let it sway a little bit. And then hands come down to the earth. Big step backwards with the left foot. Left foot drops, heel outer edge to the mat. Inhale, warrior two, second side. Let the hips sink and drop. Maybe a little bounce. Right knee out, left hip back. Use our hands to adjust. Reaching forward and back. Maybe you're watching this practice Friday or Saturday night. It's like a big night out right here. It's like you're at the club. You're doing yoga. Instead of staying out super late, you're staying up a little late, getting a great practice, good night's sleep. Or if you're a night owl, that's cool too. So we're gonna hold each one of those postures again before we find flow. Deep inhale. Exhale, side angle. Supported with that long extension line through the arm or fingertips. Reach down to the earth and we use that elbow arm to open up the hip, pressing the knee and leg out. Long reach, feel that whole length building down the left side. Inhale, warrior two, right palm to the sky. Exhale, reverse warrior. Returning the right knee, right hip up. And let's flow. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale. Supported side angle or full. When ready, inhale back through warrior two, exhale, reverse warrior. Find your moment that matches up best with you and your breath. A couple more times through. Meet back in reverse warrior. Inhale through warrior two. Hands windmill down, framing the foot. Pivot left toes. Right foot steps back. Walk it out, left and right. Down dog. As we walk this time, maybe as one heel presses back, the other top of the foot rolls to the mat. So the tops of the toes are the mat. We give a little side to side wiggle. We open up through the ankle, maybe hearing a little pop, release. And then stillness in our down dog. Breathing in and out. Moving ourselves back forward to plank. We come seated one of two ways, either dropping to the knees, crossing our legs behind us. If a jump through is part of our practice, engage to the core, lift the hips up a little bit, and then shoot the legs forward. Nice, soft landing. From here, begin to make your way to your back again. Found our movements, our different flows, Static holds that led into those flows. It's a little shift side to side. And then soles of feet drop back to the mat. And just a little bit of movement. We're keeping right here the right knee facing the sky. We're dropping that left one in with that left heel out wide. Just kind of switch it. So we're not doing the full spinal twist. We're just working a little bit more now through the hip. And 
back through center. Knees drop out wide, soles of feet touch. Climb butterfly, feel that drop a little bit side to side. Maybe just resting your thumbs on the hip bone, fingers in the thighs. Then bringing your arms out wide to the side and then finding a nine degree bend goal post arms. Give a little press of the arms into the earth, especially through the elbows. Feel the chest lift up a little. Relax through the face and the neck. One more press through the arms and then let that completely go as the spine returns back to the mat. Arms come along our side and we return back to whatever comfortable position we began our practice in for our final moments here of Shavasana, of our breath. Close the eyes, deepen your breath, Enjoy this moment that you've chosen to take for yourself. Let it fill your cup with those words behind us on that wall, inspiring us to be strong, inspiring us to be joyful, inspiring us to be hopeful, inspiring us to be faithful and inspiring us to be loving. One thing, one of the most important things we can do for this world is to love others. It's all everyone wants. It's just to know that they're appreciated, that they're noticed, that they're loved, that they're respected, that what they do in this world and having a place in this world truly matters. So even if we think about other people and we appreciate them and love them that way, use your words, vocalize it. Use your actions, help others with your hands. So now we sink back further into our mat, our cup now running over with those words we spoke here today in our practice. We've spoken those into our hearts, to our mind, into our body, into our soul. Take this time and breathe. I invite you to slowly deepen your breath. With your eyes closed, I want you to imagine those words floating above you. These words again. Strength, joy, hope, faith, and love. Be inspired to reach for those words, to bring them into your heart, to let that marinate and begin to grow. And we take those words back from our heart and we share those with everyone around us through our thoughts, our words, and our actions. 
You can roll over to one side if you haven't already. Take a moment of breath, of rest on that side. And then eventually making your way back to a seated position. Another thing we can do to remember those words, you can take a screenshot of this video with those words back behind me. Maybe a picture even of your TV if you're practicing that way. Or your computer screen. Hands come to heart center. We close our practice. The light, the love, the joy in me, respect, honor, acknowledge, the light, love, and joy in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us for this black lit practice. Just something a little different. While it's winter where I live and it's harder to do practices outside, I'm going to try to come to you from a bunch of different kind of unique indoor locations. So watch out for those new practices coming every Saturday morning, and then they're on my YouTube channel after that. This has been another Yoga with Zach practice. Have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, blessed rest of your day. See you soon.